ECN Trade Technical Webinar. Good morning. My name is Rob Clayton. Thank you for joining me. The Australian dollar still holds to a negative sentiment after posting its third outside range day. As you can see here now, the market's still focused on that 75.80 support. A break there would actually see further exposure down towards 75.20.30 and then lower to 74.65 with an objective of 74 cents. Looking towards the upside, fresh claims should find resistance now towards 76.60 and then higher with the expected bear camp holding around 77.20 to 50. So overall, I'm still bearish and I'm still looking for a break, possibly in the next 12 to 24 hours of this 80 level and then lower, as I say, down towards 75.20 and then towards 74 cents. The euro takes a breather overnight and holds in a respective range of 111.65 to 112.45. With those parameters holding for another 12 to 24 hours, expects to see further weakness eventually towards that initial support of 111.65 and then lower down towards this region of 111.20.40 and re-establish from there. With the dollar index still looking very much to a bullish case, does support this view down and eventually achieve its target. Any fresh advances sees resistance are still at around 112.45 to 112.70.80. Dolly Yen still holding a very impressive climb at the moment as the market pushes through the resistance now of 103.35.45 with the next objective now holding towards 104.05.30. A little caution here, the reason behind that is that when we stay a rally before up towards this level, it rejects it very heavily. So I'd be very cautious in terms of how this market plays out towards the upside. And if I'm long, I'd be gradually slowly unwinding. However, if we do see a break of 104.30, then the market is initially gives further guidance that the market that it's short and sees a move up towards 106. But let's see how first it plays to the, the upside. To negate the ups, to negate this target at 104, the market must see a break of 102.50. Then this would expose further weakness towards 101.80 to 101.15.30. Sterling overnight records a new low, a 31-year new low of 126.84, and establishes a short-term base now from 126.65.80. We've oversold technicals. And the trend now breaking away since its decline from this uh, downtrend around that 130 level is we could see a possible recovery from up towards 127.80.90 with the downtrend now coming in at 128.60.70. In light of this view, I expect to see supply returning around 127.80.90 and this downtrend to hold and eventually see the support give way at 126.65.80 and then see a, move, a weaker sterling and eventually reach a target of 124. So let's keep an eye on and see how well this level at 126.65.80 holds. Gold still very much in a downtrend after its attempt to rally overnight failed towards that 76 77 resistance with 112 82 capping. I'm still looking for a move down towards 112 60 to 50. Now, the low overnight was 112 61, so the support has been respected at 60, but I believe the market will give way, challenge that level of um, 112 50, and let's reassess from there as we could even see it down towards 112 28. But we are getting a little low here. But the trend is still very strong. To wrap up with oil, the break of 49.60.70 has put an extension to the upside. However, towards 50, 55.60 a barrel, I expect to see supply to return like before and fatigue to set in. And we are overbought. But however, the trend is still a little bit still firm. So we could see a move next 50 points up and then eventually see it turn around. And what will get the market to move lower is a break of 49.20.25. Well, that concludes my view for the intraday webinar. Thank you very much for joining me and look out for the report that's coming out very shortly. Thank you for your attention and I hope you enjoy your day ahead.